17-year-old Abdallah Asim is a young man without a country. He came to the U.S. to represent Egypt in a prestigious science fair, but he dares not return home. What made you decide to stay here in the United States? Okay, first I, uh, I'm worried to come back to Egypt. I will be not safe. I may be arrested. And uh, I will have a better education in, uh, in the States. I can uh, have uh, human rights. Before attending the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair in Los Angeles, Asim was arrested in Cairo and charged with violating Egypt's restrictive laws against protests. Then, police accused the slight, skinny teenager of burning a police car. He says the charges are absurd. Of course. Uh, <laughs> how I can make that? <laughs> it's really crazy. The government in Cairo did allow Asim to travel to the science fair. Then his parents urged him to stay in the U.S. They sure I will be okay here. They no good I will be safe here. Asim was selected for the Intel Science Fair after he invented a system that allows paralyzed people to operate a computer keyboard using only eye movements. He's determined to continue his education as a computer scientist. I'm near to the Silicon Valley and the, the, the best universities in the world. Mm -hmm. I'm here near to MIT, Stanford, Harvard. For now, Abdallah Asim is being supported by members of the Egyptian American community, and he plans to ask for political asylum. One of Egypt's finest young minds forced to start a new life in a strange land. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Los Angeles.